So the next topic we want to mention is the concept of opposite. Opposite kind of means to take the opposite of, or like, you know, like we talk about hot, the opposite of hot would be cold. In math, the way this reads is this, this dash on the outside of these parentheses, this actually stands for the words, the opposite of. And what's in the parentheses is what we're taking the opposite of. So the opposite of, of, a, the opposite of a positive five means to take the opposite of a five. This one means to take the opposite of what's inside the parentheses, which is a negative four. So again, this is read as the opposite of a negative four. So that dash on the outside of the parentheses stands for the words the opposite of. And then you're taking the opposite of whatever's in the parentheses. Another important word is the word equivalent. Equivalent means the same as or equals. So when you see this equal sign, it's also what's called an equivalent or same as sign. So when I read this, this says the opposite of five is the same as a negative five, which should make sense because the opposite of a positive number is actually a negative number. So the opposite of five is the same as a negative five. Those are equivalent or equal. This reads as the opposite of a negative four. So the opposite of a negative four is a positive four because the opposite of a negative is actually a positive. So the opposite of a negative four is the same as a positive four. That's how that could be read. So an equal sign is also an equivalent symbol or it also means the same as. Those are some words that go along with that. When you have multiple parentheses, you actually start on the inside. So I see a negative eight. You gotta take the opposite of a negative eight, which in turn turns it to a positive eight. And then you gotta take the opposite of a positive eight, which turns it into a negative eight. So if there's more than one set of parentheses, you work on the inside, work your way out. Here I have a 20 but the opposite of 20 is a negative 20. And the opposite of a negative 20 is a positive 20. And the opposite of a positive 20 is a negative 20. And then the opposite of a negative 20 is a positive 20. So it kind of goes back and forth. That's a mouthful. So a lot of times what we pick up on is we just think of it as a, uh, a light switch. So one negative makes a negative, the second negative switches to a positive, the third negative switches it to a negative. And then you actually can go from left to right if you see problems like this. So negative, positive, negative, positive. So it's just like a light switch. Negative, positive, negative, positive. Therefore, that answer would be a, a positive 20. Another important vocabulary word you'll come across is this uh, absolute value. Absolute value means the distance a number is from zero. So these vertical bars here are absolute value symbols. And what they're asking is, is how far is four from zero. Again, it doesn't really care about sun, just how far. So here, here is zero and here is four. If you count, you would see that four is one, two, three, four units from zero. So the absolute value of four is just simply four. The absolute value of negative five just means how far is negative five from zero. So if here's zero and here's negative five, you count from zero, one, two, three, four, five. So the absolute value of negative five is the same thing as a positive five, because again, distance is always a non-negative number. So it can either be a zero or a positive value. So it really doesn't really care about the sign. It just wants it to be a positive or zero. So those are some terms we have here, the word opposite. It's that little dash in front. Equivalent, same as is another word for that equivalent symbol, equal symbol. Absolute value, of course, is the distance a number is from zero. So those are some important notes to uh, keep aware of as you move forward.